Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Writer, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. I've just uploaded this and I've realised that I've recorded over my voice, so I've had to delete it and redo the narration. And um, so this video is upon request, really. I've had a few people ask if I can compare in a video uh, the view of an endoscope versus the view of. Uh, a microscope. So um, prior to endoscopes, because endoscopes weren't around forever, they've only been really, uh, I mean in terms of earwax removal I would say that they've just been more commercial in the last, well since Clearwax launched the iClearscope, um, so in the last five or six years. So prior to endoscopes, um, microscopes or head loops were used to look inside the ear. And so I've started off on the, this patient, same patient. Um, this is their left ear. I'm going to use the net, the iClearscape, which is the original device that Clearwax uh, launched back in 2015. And we're going to extract the wax from here. And then on the right side, uh, I'm going to use the wax scope. Um, so that's the second ear. And the reason why I decided to use the wax scope in the second right is because the ear was a lot narrower and twisty and that's the whole purpose of the wax scope um, there's nothing you cannot compete against the view of an endoscope and you'll see that um, but as i said not everyone a very small percentage of people actually use an endoscope very small percentage uh, globally in the uk i would say at 10 maybe 20 percent uh, but i would probably say it more towards the 10 10 percent one in 10 so um, a microscope or head loops are used and that's where you have a speculum to stretch and widen the ear and the ear is uh, the view is obviously naturally narrower but uh, I've discussed some of the shortcomings of both a microscope and head loops in great detail in the previous videos and hence why there needs to be another device on the market other than an endoscope if you can use the endoscope there's there's nothing else that you need really an endoscope is up there I feel in a league of its own but Unfortunately, not everyone can use an endoscope, so we need an alternative where we can help um, improve quality of ear care. I'll come back to that in a moment. So this is the patient's left eardrum. You can see that on the left-hand side, that's an attic retraction, so the eardrum's sucked in. They've got a bit of eustachian tube dysfunction, uh, but the attic's clear. There's no buildup of dead skin or cholesterol. That's the left ear. Now, this is the right ear, so this is the narrow ear. And... If you are having your earwax removed and the individual's using like goggles to look in your ear or an ENT microscope, this is the view that they're looking at. I'm using a really, really narrow speculum. So we've got four different sizes. This is a 3.5 mm, it's the narrowest one because the patient has this, their right ear is narrower. Hence why I thought, well, we need to put the device through its um, paces really. We've got to really test it out. And these are the, this is a really good ear to test it out on. Also because the wax is quite solid and um, it's quite, um, adhere to the canal wall so I'm just using the micro suction and the, the concept of the wax scope is not to compete against the um, um, the eye clear scope and I have got a separate YouTube channel where I'm dedicating more on that channel which spins a bit more work so I'm trying to upload, upload videos of both the wax scope and the eye clear scope but um, I put the link in the description it's a clear wax channel where you can see more wax scope videos but the reason why I did it on this one it's a short one and just a few requests if I can do it on the same video almost so managed to remove that and i'm going to put the speculum in because you just, don't know if you just got a glimpse of how narrow the ear was and how bend it was there so we're going to stretch it open go in with the speculum straighten up the ear canal and then we're just moving it to top so the patient's also got an attic retraction there good view of the eardrum again that view is so good, good to what else is available other than an endoscope that's all the, the dead skin plugs and wax plugs that are removed. The large one centre left um, is off the left ear and the one just centre right, just above it, that's off the right ear. You can see some um, the darker bits of the, the wax and skin plug. That's the oxidised part, so that's been there for longer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, keep well and speak to you soon. Bye.